So like I'm looking like my face. So I don't think that there is trouble or if there is, they're very, very great actors. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Talk Back for Teens Youth News. I'm your anchor, Bernard Rogers, and here with me is my co-anchor, Destiny Williams. And we have a lot of, lot of important stories lined up for you guys today, so let's jump right into it. First, we want to preview uh, Mike Brown, uh, who many of you probably know about, down in St. Louis, Ferguson. Um, today was actually the day that his family and many of his supporters of what happened had laid him to, laid him to rest. Um, if you guys aren't uh, really for, for sure what happened, I have the story right here. Let me read some, something to you. Um, just days shy of starting college, Brown was walking down the street after leaving a convenience store where police say he stole a box of cigars when he was shot at least six times by a white police officer named Darren Wilson. Um, accounts of the shooting differ widely with police alleging Brown was trying to grab Wilson's gun. Um, but the witnesses, including a friend of Brown's walking with him, said he was shot as he held his hands in the air in a clear sign of surrender. Um, as many of you guys know, throughout social media, the hands up sim uh, symbol and uh, many pictures like that have been going around in support of what happened with uh, the Michael Brown situation. Um, as his family laid him to rest, many um, remembered him as the gentle giant and say that he uh, gave his life to uh, God and found religious um, backings as he was um, on his deathbed. Um, um, some of the more important people who attended his funeral today were uh, Trayvon Martin's father, who many of you guys know Trayvon Martin, was the young man uh, in Florida who was shot uh, by a, um, I believe he was a Latino gentleman or, or, or uh, with the European descent or something like that in 2012. And also um, another story has been circulating with a young man named Eric Gardner who died in New York. Uh, Staten Island on July 17th after he was um, after he was put in a chokehold by a cop who thought he was selling illegal drugs. Um, so many of these stories have been circulating and uh, there's been a lot of talk about it going on so far. So I'm going to turn it over to Destiny. Destiny, what do you think about all of these incidents that are happening and this racial, racial presumed racial prejudice that is going on? I think it's all just a really sad situation. Like every different situation that comes up there's no for sure evidence there's no set story everyone has their own opinion about what happened and this one says that and the other one says another thing and no one knows really what happened but it's all just sad because innocent lives are being taken right there's not a need for anyone to die because they allegedly stole c cigars like that's not necessary exactly and like you said I'm for sure I'm not for sure what happened either nobody really knows um, but I know uh, in the news they've been talking about uh, one of the things they're really really pulling for are cameras in the police's badges or on their squad cars so that uh, when incidents like this happen they can have some proof or have some insight as to what actually happened so we're wishing in uh, Mike Brown and his family um, our deepest ap uh, apologies and hope they figure out uh, what actually happened. On a little bit of a brighter note, we have the Ice Bucket Challenge to support ALS, which is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and it's a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. And the Ice Bucket Challenge has been going on where you fill up a bucket of water and ice and you pour it on yourself, and it just raises awareness for ALS. And it's raised about $80 million so far, so visit the website www.alsa.org to learn more about ALS and to donate. All right, guys, uh, that challenge is definitely something that's been circulating in media a lot. And hopefully you guys are a part of it and you're donating as well. Our last story, we definitely, definitely want to talk about the highly anticipated uh, VMAs that MTV kicked off this past Sunday. You had so many stars who showed up. Uh, you had appearances by people like Katy Perry, Usher, Rita Ora, and you had performances, uh, collaborations with Nicki Minaj, uh, Ariana Grande, Jesse J. Uh, you had Sam Smith. Uh, and you also had the highly acclaimed Beyonce, who also won the Michael Jackson um, Award of Excellence, uh, which was really, really great. Um, I actually tuned in for the show. Uh, it was an awesome, phenomenal show. Um, and like I said, had many, many great uh, performances. 
uh, so Destiny, uh, the talk of the night, as I said, was on Beyonce, and I know girls love <laughs> Beyonce. I mean, I personally love Beyonce. I want to marry her, but the talk was on Beyonce. So, what do you think about Beyonce? Beyonce is definitely someone to watch. She's a big idol in girls' eyes. She just, I don't know, she sings, she dances, she's a great performer. Mm -hmm. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's just a, you know, all around good person for a young girl to watch. Yeah. And, and what do you think about the Michael Jackson Achievement Award? That's, That's a big award to win. That says a lot about your career and how far she's come. She started at a very young age, and she's come mm -hmm. so far. She's, like, in her 30s now, and she's at Michael Jackson's status. Like, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad she was able to get celebrated for the work that she's done. Uh, but on another note, uh, Nicki Minaj, uh, she didn't have that much of luck. Uh, after one, her, her beginning performance, uh, she went to a wardrobe change and she came back in a black dress and people realized that she was holding it um, very, very awkwardly as she was performing. And many people say that it was because it was a, a wardrobe malfunction. And she actually went on uh, the VMA press room to say, um, we ran out of time getting uh, the dress on by trying to, zip, to actually zip it up. So while she was trying to zip up her dress, she actually ran out of time to put the front part together. Um, so that's why she had to hold it. Uh, we wish her luck in the future with her wardrobe changes and hopefully they can give her a little bit more time. Do better in rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Trouble in paradise with uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. I right hope there. not. I really hope not. I love them. They're so cute. Like, it's them two and Blue Ivy, and they're just the cutest little family. I really hope not. I mean, I'm the same way. I agree. I hope not. But uh, there's been some stuff circulating that she's been asking for advice in, in what it takes as a celebrity of her capacity to get a divorce. Um, but from the BMA performance last night when she received yes. her award, her family came on stage and they had a nice candid kiss. So I don't think that there is trouble, or if there is, they're very, very great actors. Okay. Nicki Minaj's new hair, you like it? I love Nicki Minaj's new look. She looks like a normal person now. <laughs> like, she's someone that we could probably relate to a little bit better than Roman. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. ALS challenge, have you been challenged? I have. And yeah. Have you? No, my dad wants to do it as a family, so we're probably gonna do it sometime too. Yeah. I've been challenged as well, finally. I have not done it yet, but my roommates and some of my other friends have assured me that we will be doing it. So look out for that, uh, Talk Back for Teens viewers. Once again, guys, this is Talk Back for Teens Youth News, and we're glad that you guys could check in with us one more time. Make sure you follow the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Talk Back for Teens. Again, that's Talk Back for Teens. See you later, guys. If that's all you will be, you'll be a waste of time. You've now. dreamed a thousand he dreams. Does it on purpose? You do it on purpose, John. Who do do I do it? <laughs> it must make you sad to know that nobody cares at all. Why is it hot? Why? Am oh I yeah, here? you're a college student like. now. Roman. <laughs> yeah. I want to be where I've never been. I so don't want to do it now. How was that, John? I want to be there and then I understand. No, I'm right. Do it right. Could I get to be like that? I would know what I don't know. Nothing more to gain. Will I get better? Stay the same. I find out. Make you sad.